Hey everybody, before we get into today's episode, just wanna give a quick reminder about Sunday's episode. Special coronation episode. Now it won't be live, but it will have a special guest. Aunt Linda! <laughs> My Aunt Linda will be here to watch the coronation, part of the coronation with us. That's and right. And to uh, taste some of our treats we've received recently. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're here Sunday to check out our reaction to portion of the coronation. On with the show. Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Those two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to today's very special episode of the Natasha and Debbie Show. Um, we're really glad that you're here today. Yes, and, we are. Yes, and before we get into what we're here for, if you like the content um, that we provide and you wanna see more videos, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel, but only if you want to. So what we're here for today is something that we were told about um, not that long ago, kind of flashed up, and um, <clears throat> we knew it was a topic we wanted to cover with you. So Absolutely. we didn't look into it much further than what little information we have here. And I'm going to let Debbie tell you about what That's we do right. now. Um, it was recently discovered down in Camden, South Carolina, the body of 14 soldiers from the Revolutionary War, yeah. one of which being a British soldier. And um, that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Yeah. So 13 of the soldiers were American soldiers. Um, and then the other soldier, and I made sure I have a little notes here, is an 18th century Highland soldier from the British 71st Regiment of Foot, Fraser's Highlanders. That was a Scottish regiment form, formed for the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. um, this is amazing just thinking about this, you know, how many centuries have passed and yet our country's coming together mm -hmm. um, to honor these soldiers, be it American or British. And it just really is a testament to that special relationship we have Definitely. The, the relationship that we have now, even though that war was about separating and fighting each other, but now we're coming together to honor all the soldiers that Absolutely. were there. Absolutely. And speaking of honor, you know, today we wear American shirts with pride, mm -hmm. but... We also have our poppies on. To honor this fallen British soldier yes. as well. So we're going to take a look today at this video um, that was actually made for us by mm -hmm. a friend. Um, part of it is, like, I think, Forces News or Forces TV. But then they also added in some other stuff that you won't find on the regular video. Right. So we're going to take a look at this again to all active duty servicemen and women, America and abroad and our, our, our allied military services. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We have nothing but respect, as we always say, to all armed forces. So mm -hmm. let's all just, you know, sincerely give some love to everyone here today. And um, on top of that, to what we're about to witness. A 21st century funeral for an 18th century Highlander on American soil. Thousands turned out in South Carolina to mourn, and it was a funeral like no other. Wow. Honoring British and American sacrifices from the 18th century after archaeologists made a remarkable discovery. On this soil in 1780, the Battle of Camden claimed the lives of thousands. It was one of many hard-fought conflicts against British rule that eventually led to the creation of the United States of America. General McAfee, would you come forward? 243 years ago, men from two armies, one an established world power, the other a volunteer force for fledgling democracy met and did battle on these grounds. Nearly a thousand men were casualties in this place. Today, centuries later, we gather to recognize memorialize and reinter the earthly remains of 13 of the 14 found hastily buried in this dirt. The fact that 12 were continental soldiers and two fought for Great Britain is no longer of great significance. What is important, however, is the commitment to their service we demonstrate by conducting these honors today. Service to a cause greater than oneself is a hallmark of American military service. Whether that service was rendered in the desert of the Middle East, the jungles of Vietnam, the plains of Europe or the islands of the South Pacific. Those who fell here over two centuries ago were equally committed to causes greater than themselves, and we have no way of anticipating that the outcomes of their efforts would result in the rise of two of the greatest nations on earth, once revolutionary enemies, now inseparable allies. Amen. 
Each of these locations saw American Patriots. Sorry. You guys know my cry, probably, right? <laughs> goosebumps when he said that. Oh, I got goosebumps as soon as they showed the soldiers marching. Oh, well, of course. Yes. Um, <clears throat> okay. Head of two of the greatest nations on earth. Once revolutionary enemies, now inseparable allies. Each of these locations saw American patriots and their equally committed British adversaries commit their very lives to their respective causes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And fought... And he died to further their nation's objectives. So too do today's veterans, the current embodiment of Patriot Fervor, sacrifice much for our continued freedom. A nation and a people who commemorates its veterans from a two century past must most assuredly support its veterans of today. Yes. Those whose service and sacrifice has such a contemporary impact. That is certainly the pledge of the South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs and the great state of South Carolina. We make that today and we will maintain it in the future. So thank you for gathering here today to honor these fallen warriors from so many years ago. And thank you for your continued commitment to supporting today's veterans across this great state and our nation. This is such an honor for them to go through doing all of this for soldiers that died, you know, what do you say, 243 years ago? Yeah. I mean, this is just it makes me amazing. Proud. Once enemies. Now allies, Absolutely. the greatest allies on the earth, mm -hmm. you know, and there you go. It, it, no soldier should be buried the way that they were no. to give them the proper burial that they deserve. There we go. So honorable. Absolutely. This is uh, not only a once in a career, but never in a career opportunity. Mm -hmm. So it's been such an honor and a privilege to be able to help understand who these individuals were and how yeah. they may have died. The Highlander was our deepest buried individual, um, much more than the other individuals. Some people were this far below the surface. You could really witness from, from the burial context how hastily buried they were and historical accounts of some not having been buried at all. Mm. The day that we uh, exhumed him, someone brought some uh, a bottle of uh, scotch um, to, to commemorate <laughs> the event and, and give him a toast. Soldiers from 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland, flew over especially to be pallbearers for the remains of one of those unearthed here. His heritage traces back to the British 71st Regiment of Foot, Fraser's Highlanders, a Scottish regiment formed for the Revolutionary War. Having, you know, learned of my Scottish ancestry, which goes back way, 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 uh -huh. like, you know, I don't have connections there. I don't know family mm. members out there that ancestors I have, cousins that are there. But still, it's like a different part of me I didn't know that feels something deep here yeah. <clears throat> for both sides. So it's just nothing but love. And I'm so proud of our countries, both of our countries, mm -hmm. to show this love for these men. Um, yeah, and that's amazing that they came all the way over to participate in this. That's absolutely. Incredible. And I say men and some of these soldiers could very well have been boys. Yes. Fraser's Highlanders, a Scottish regiment formed for the Revolutionary War. Well, it's something that's very humbling and I think thought-provoking in terms of thinking back at the history and then also hundreds of years later being able to be involved in yeah. giving the, uh, the soldier the send-off he deserves is something that I'll be, I'll be proud in years to come of. It's my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you His Majesty's British Consul in Atlanta, Rachel Galloway. How cool. Thank you. Good afternoon. Governor McMaster, General McCaffrey, thank you for your moving remarks. I'm delighted to be back in your state. As you may know, the UK and South Carolina have a strong relationship that today is vibrant and looks to the future as partners. Thank you to all the armed forces personnel present today Gathered here at this centuries-old battleground, we have representatives from the South Carolina Army National Guard, from the United States Army, and from the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Thank you all for your service to your countries, mm -hmm. and thank you for being part of history today. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would also like to thank the South Carolina Battleground Preservation Trust 
for inviting me to be part of this ceremony. It's an honor and it is a privilege to be here as His Majesty's representative in the southeastern United States. It's also personally important for me to be here. Throughout my career, I've served alongside the United Kingdom, the United States, and other NATO forces. In Afghanistan, I saw firsthand their courage and dedication as they fought shoulder to shoulder in the response to 9-11. And in North Macedonia, it was an immense honor to see military and government partners work so closely to strengthen the NATO alliance with North Macedonia's accession as the 30th member state. During all of this, I have witnessed the danger our servicemen and women put themselves in to ensure the security of our countries. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know the sacrifices they've made to defend democracy and the rule of law around the world. The United States matters to the United Kingdom, and the United Kingdom matters to the United States. Definitely. Oh, y'all knew it was going to crack like an egg. Come on. It's true. And I, I get so upset when I read comments from some people that I'll say, we don't have a special relationship. Mm -hmm. Or they'll be really disrespectful about veterans or about the military. And we shouldn't have funding for them. They're more important things. Yeah. People don't have to put their life on the line for you, you know? They don't. And, and they did. And they do. And protecting our freedoms, both of our freedoms. It's you do matter important. to our country, and I hope we matter to yours as much. I hope so, because believe me, you matter more than you know. Believe me. Yes. These two Americans are telling you, on behalf of 330 other ones, mm -hmm. you matter. And again, yes. I just hope that we matter as much to you. And I love that she said that. Absolutely. I'm going to hear it again. ...and the rule of law around the world. The United States matters to the United Kingdom. And the United Kingdom matters to the United States. Even though we are here at a place of conflict between us, mm. nowhere is more powerful in illustrating the deep and enduring connection between our service men and women who train together, fight together, and die together. Okay, wow. From conflict came unity. Ah, oh, preach it. That's beautiful. I love her. From conflict came unity. Yes. And that's why you have two Americans sitting here with poppies and American yep. shirt <laughs> doing stuff for the UK. Amen. Mm -hmm. That is so well said. That is. So it's well beautiful. said. This is, this whole thing's beautiful. It, it, it you know, from, con wow. Together. From conflict came, came unity. unity. Mm. The wounds of the Battle of Camden, of the Revolutionary War, have long since healed, mm -hmm. and our two nations are trusted friends and allies. Yes. The special relationship, embedded in everything that we do together, mm -hmm. will continue to be vital to international peace and security. Absolutely. And the many political, economic, and cultural opportunities that are able to flourish because of that security. Right. You may be aware that Britain is preparing for the coronation of our new king, <laughs> Charles III. This moment gives us the opportunity to reflect on our past. Mm. This place where we stand today is part of that past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Revolutionary War is a seminal part of our shared history with America. Yeah. I want to personally thank the Camden Burials Project and everyone involved for the full military honours afforded to this British soldier. Mm -hmm. The respectful reinterment of soldiers of whatever loyalty and from whatever era of history is so important. Soldiers killed in battle deserve to be laid to rest with dignity. Absolutely. Today we can say that we have done this for these soldiers, these men and boys mm -hmm. who stood here centuries before us. We honour the ultimate sacrifice they have made for both the old nation and the new. Yes. Across all three services, we have 850 Beautiful. service personnel across 30 states. Um, Sorry, I wasn't listening to what they just said because I'm going to take that in. Yeah, I need a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, honey. This is a first. <laughs> it's just touching to see how they come together and honoring soldiers that have died so long ago. It's yeah. amazing. 
that fought for both things that, you know, they mm-hmm. want, you know, like I countries. said, they were fighting against each other. And here we are standing together. Amen. To give them honor. It's a, it's beautiful. It's the way it should be. Mm-hmm. Much love guys. Much love. Across all three services, we have 850 service personnel across 30 states um, out okay. here working and literally, uh, you know, hand in glove, the closest military relationship we have, working extremely closely with, with all of the U.S. services. Fantastic. Um, it's a re- relationship we really cherish. So we're all operationally experienced soldiers, but to lay a soldier to rest in the battlefield where he died almost 250 years ago, I think adds a sense of significance for us. And it's not lost on us that we've got soldiers in our battalion who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in recent operations as well. We're just mesmerized by the fact that Great Britain chose to fly them here from Scotland <laughs> to do this. Yes, I'm not surprised. I think for both nations, it's important to reconnect with our history. Yes. And understand who we are, how we got here. Yes. How mm-hmm. then we transition from enemies to close friends. And um, the mood in the town of Camden and in Columbia yesterday, it's just palpable. In the days before the ceremony, a convoy carrying the soldiers passed through the local Stop community, it. giving people of all ages a chance to pay their respects. We read the information and we knew what was what was to be expected, but I just wasn't prepared for the emotions of it all because there was you could there was not a pin you could not hear a thing drop out here. It was silence. If you've ever doubt, like I said, Americans loving our allies, Mm -hmm. the British. Yeah, I mean. Right here. You saw them. Hand on hearts, not just for the American soldiers, but for the British soldiers Mm -hmm. as well. Believe me. You know, once an enemy, now a hero. Now someone that that gets the exact same level of respect as our own men do. Mm -hmm. No different. No different. Absolutely not any different. (laughs) Moves me. It was not a pin, you could not hear a thing drop out here. It was silence. Mm-hmm. We're headed to Fort Jackson. Uh, that's where all of the US Army's soldiers do their basic training. And we're expecting to see hundreds of them come out to pay their respects to the soldiers uh, in what will be the finale of the convoy. And it's just been incredible to see the response, to see the connection Wow. And what a turnout when they arrived. Hundreds of personnel were keen to catch a glimpse of the convoy. Mm. Fort Jackson's commander, Brigadier General Kelly, was moved by the chance to honour them. So what more do we know about the British soldier? I've come to meet a former US Army sergeant who's now a reenactor and military historian. It probably enlisted probably in 1775, 1776. So he'd already been soldiering for four to five years. Wow. And uh, the 71st, they marched everywhere. They covered the entire state of South Carolina at one time. So the British Army always used them as the shock unit coming into a battle because they were greatly feared. What do you think he would have made of all of this? Um, So they were used to death. Death was an everyday occurrence and a partner in their life. So I think he would have been been happy to see it as a ghost standing there going, yeah, I I appreciate that, chaps. The remains of the American soldiers will be kept with the US Army and the Highlander with the South Carolina Battleground Trust until a cemetery can be created at the site where they will all be buried together. What? I didn't nice. I don't think I realized that. No. I thought I I guess in my head I thought they were going to send uh, the British soldier back to the UK, mm-hmm. but they're all going to be kept together. Oh wow, That's I'm going nice. to cry again. That, that's nice. And actually create a proper cemetery for them, proper burial ground. We need to go down there. Yeah. This isn't too far from Paris Island where my dad um, went to boot camp for the Marines. Mm -hmm. It's not far. Um, Oh, wow. This is such an honor. This is incredible. U.S. Army and the Highlander with the South Carolina Battleground Trust until a cemetery can be created at the site. That's great. They will all be buried together. Mm -hmm. Jean Gwesjek, Forces News, Camden, South Carolina. That was beautiful.
Um, I mean, what's to say that we haven't already said? I mean, uh, it was absolutely I don't know. beautiful, honorable, amazing to to see how everyone in the entire town turned out. Yeah. Um, seeing you that emotional for once on a video. It does happen. It, it um, doesn't happen often. I think often. with the Battersea, Dogs and Cats one was the only other time mm -hmm. that I've ever seen you have actual tears on here. You are very good at being stoic and holding things back in. It makes me moved to mm -hmm. see that from you. I think it's like the one bystander said that you, you brings up emotions that you weren't really expecting. But to see how much work and honor and respect and uh, just remembering what people went through to build our country, yeah. your country, and to see the two countries Come still together, yeah. working together side by side. Oh. I mean... How many times are you enemies with somebody and then you come back and be best friends? Yeah. I mean, that's it's amazing and it's beautiful. Yeah. I, I love it. As I said earlier, no no soldier should lay unknown. No. Um, ever. And, uh, you know, I'm just proud of our country for showing the respect, you know, mm -hmm. that I know we would do. Um, yes. But um, it's just so heartwarming to see this. And this is what I love about America, what I love about the United Kingdom, what I love about our allies in general. And again, we have that special relationship and no one can say we don't. I mean, look mm -hmm. at this. Look at what you what we just watched here. Yeah, it's um, amazing. Well, I mean, you just don't. You just don't see something like this every day, you know, no. um, and, and the respect and dignity here is just so um, it's not lost on me. No. Again, it's not. And I just want to, again, thank t to everybody out there that um, that sees that we do have this special relationship. We've had it for so mm -hmm. long. And you can, you know, from, from like you said earlier, coming from enemies to, to, to being friends and to, to be a nation that nations that fight together, stand together, have the same values and things mm -hmm. like that. It's it's amazing, you know. Yes. Um, but uh, you just again, thank you guys for those of you who, again, who see that who understand that, who have mm -hmm. family that are military, who are in the military. If you are, again, thank you for your service. We'll never stop no, saying that. we won't. What we try to do a lot here on our channel is is nurture and foster that, that yes. camaraderie, that friendship, see more of our similarities than we do our differences, you know, bond over things. That's, yeah, not cause that's, division. Yeah, I think that's the way to move forward There's, in the world. Yeah, too many other people are wanting division out there, and that's not how we are. We yeah. never will be. But um, again, I hate doing this right now, but if you liked the video today, please hit the like button. Mm -hmm. Help this video get pushed out to other folks and consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget, Sunday is our special coronation episode with special guest, hopefully, Aunt yes. Linda. Aunt <laughs> Linda. So um, we have some really cool things that we've been sent and we're really excited to check out I portion uh -huh. of the coronation. It will not be live. Um, we will be filming that actually on the coronation day, but mm -hmm. not live. So please be uh, be here for that. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Again, our hearts and our respect are there for our country and your country. I have nothing else to say here except much no. love to everyone watching. Love you all. Yes, we do. <laughs> In that honor of love. Mm -hmm. Love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. See you Sunday. Bye.